Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we're going to create a project with a brand new stamp set from the Simon Says Stamp Make Merry release. This release just went live today and so there's lots of goodness over the Simon Shop and I encourage you guys to check it out. The stamp set I'm using is called uh, Holiday Sparkle Greetings and it is huge. It's six by eight stamp set and there's four greetings in here. And then you can see in between each of the greetings, there's different elements that you can create a background with. There's polka dots that could be used for snow. There's some sparkle, two different kinds of sparkles. There's some stars. And so um, that's a neat little accent. And then they're not all one piece for those little elements. There's like four or five that you can reposition on your panel, um, which I thought that was neat. When I first saw the length of these sentiments, they're about seven and a half inches long. We're going to use joy today, but um, I first thought was let's make a slimline card. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to stamp the word joy, bringing out the misty here. We're going to stamp it on some cranberry cardstock. We're going to put it a little bit towards the top here. I'm making sure the left side is overhanging. The right's not all the way to the end, but that's okay. We're going to fix that with a flourish. Um, we're going to do some heat embossing with some gold embossing powder. So I made sure to treat my paper with my anti-static powder bag. And then we're going to ink up our joy with our Versamark ink. We're going to go ahead and make our impression and then bring in our gold embossing powder. I think gold and red for Christmas cards is just gorgeous. Now I looked all over. I usually have a clear spoon that I use for my embossing powders, but I I think I need to get a new little plastic spoon. So today we're going to use some scratch paper. I'm just going to go over my sentiment and then um, once it's covered, I'll use my heat gun and we'll melt it. And you can see how pretty gold and red go together. I think it's just gorgeous. Okay. Once our sentiment is melted, this one is ready to go. We're going to set that aside. We'll brush off more of that embossing powder once it's completely dry. But we're going to bring in the same size of uh, white cardstock. Now the size that I, I didn't mention it, but it's about an eight inch long piece of cardstock. Um, the width kind of doesn't matter because you're going to trim it down. But as, as long as it's about um, eight inches, it, that's, that's a good length. Okay. We're going to ink up our little sparkles. I chose sparkles. And I just kind of spread them into like an, uh, a long kind of a, a swirly shape over the top of my white cardstock. Again, we're going to bring in our gold embossing powder and melt those little sparkles. And you can see the shape I kind of created with them. And there again, I used probably five of those little sparkle stamps. So you can spread them however you want. Now to fill in that area that's on the, the right side of our panel here, I'm going to use the Winter Flower Stamp Set from Simon Says Stamp. There's a real pretty poinsettia in here. We're going to ink that up with cranberry ink and then we're going to ink up the leaves with some evergreen ink. Both of these are from Concord and Ninth. They're pretty juicy ink pads and so I wasn't sure if they were going to stamp very well, but I think they stamp beautifully. I thought we would use colored inks today instead of black ink. I am going to color in my poinsettia and then the three leaves with my Copic markers. Um, and like I said, the ink pads are pretty juicy. So I was afraid they were still um, wet on my panel. So we're going to use the heat gun and go ahead and dry our ink so we can Copic color. While I color, I am going to play a little bit of music for you. I left the caps out and listed them also in the top right for you. But when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back.
Okay, coloring's all done. You can see my flower, and it's pretty basic. Um, we're gonna use the scissors and fussy cut out our flower and our three leaves, um, leaving a little bit of a white border around them. And then with the joy panel here, I thought it would be neat to take my longer shears and cut along the top edge of the sentiment. Kind of cut it out um, so the letters are um, the shape of the top of our panel here. Now we're not worried about that right side because we're gonna cover it up with our flower. So basically it's gonna look like this and I love the way this looks. If you wanted to create a square card with this, I think it'd be gorgeous or even an A2 size card would be great. Okay. Next, we're gonna take our sparkle panel. We are gonna add that to our slimline card. I just created my slimline card by taking some cardstock, and um, I scored at the three and a half inch mark to create a three and a half inch by eight and a half inch card base. Now, so this means it doesn't hit, it doesn't fit. My panels that I created are gonna leave a quarter inch gap on the left and right, and I did that intentionally just so your eyes will go directly to your the sentiment. Um, if you wanted to add some gold strips there, you could, but I, I like the white showing on the side here. Um, I'm gonna trim off about three quarters of an inch off the bottom of my joy so it'll fit on my card base. And then we're gonna add foam adhesive behind it, add a little dimension, and line this up on the bottom of our card here. Okay, next, Basically our flower is gonna go here, but I thought we'd add a little bit more um, texture. So I removed my foam tape that we just added and then I brought in some thin gauge gold, um, gold wire that I've had in my stash. If you have gold thread, you could do the same thing with it. I just um, added a few circles of that and then tucked it behind my flower with um, the foam adhesive to secure it. And just it was just the what I needed to add a little bit extra texture in my background. Next, we're going to add our two leaves to the right here, just using some foam adhesive. We'll do a little tucking with these. I'm going to scoot this down a bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind my last leaf and add that leaf, add that to the right here. <laughs> now, for bells and whistles, we don't need to do much, but I'm going to bring in a little more sparkle. I have some gold stickles. We're gonna dot the center of our poinsettia and then also add a few dots in our little sparkle area up above in our white portion of our card. But that's my card for today, guys, using the Simon Says Stamp brand new um, holiday sparkle greeting stamp set. If you guys are interested, links are down below. Actually, I'll link the entire uh, Simon Says Stamp release down below if you guys wanna check it out. There is so much goodness over there. And there's so much goodness over on the Simon Says Stamp block too, so I encourage you guys to check that out. But have a lovely day. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.